Hi, everyone. Welcome to Domain Sherpa. We've got an awesome Domain Sherpa review coming up today with Braden, Shane, and Jen Sale. We play the domain game with raw.org, overthinker.com, rockhounds.com, and greatleaf.com, along with a bonus round or two. Then we got the Name Jet in a Jet segment, sponsored by Name Jet. And we talk about some domains coming up for auction, such as oceanclub.com, ipmanagement.com, newempire.com, and lala.net. And then we might break off into a quick discussion about horror movies, asking everyone everybody what their favorite scary movie is and what would be a movie similar to Stranger Things that they enjoy. If you have any thoughts on that, be sure to let us know on Twitter or hit us up on the comments section of our site. And remember, if you're listening to the audio version of this podcast, you can also watch the video version at our site, DomainSherpa.com, and on our YouTube channel at DS.TV. We also now have all the past episodes there so you can dig into the largest library of domain-related podcast content in the world for free. You can also check us out on Apple and Spotify as well as some of the other podcast platforms. As usual, big shout out to Dan.com, the number one place in the world to buy and sell your domains with a special platform made for domain investors. All right, with that, it's now time to get into this episode of Domain Sherpa, where all roads lead to domains. So let's go. What's up, Sherpa Network? Thank you for tuning in today. My name is Jonathan Tenenbaum, a.k.a. JT, a.k.a. Jayon, a.k.a. Sherpa Winfrey, and I am the host and producer of Domain Sherpa, where all roads lead to domains. <laughs> Today's show is a Domain Sherpa review where we get into the minds of successful domain investors using real examples so we can learn strategies and tactics to become more successful domain name investors ourselves. These are the experts. There are four segments to a Domain Sherpa review. We've got one, the grand opening. That's where I intro the Sherpas do the AKAs, see what's going on with them. We talk about some related stuff, some unrelated stuff. You know, hopefully we'll move quickly into the domain part of the show for the domain maxis out there that really want us to just get right into the heart of it and not spend don't a whole lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. I got faith. Today might be that day, that one time. Segment two is the domain game. That's where we hear about what the Sherpas recently bought or sold. Everybody guesses. We keep score and we get some swag to the winner. See if I can get keep my streak alive. I believe I won last time, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, and then uh, you know, so feeling pretty good about that. Segment three, Name Jack and a Jet, sponsored by our friends at Name Jet. That's where we review a list of domains coming up for auction. See what the Sherpas like, what they don't like, what they're into, what they think you should avoid all that good stuff. And then last but certainly not least, we will close out with segment four, which is grand closing, where we discuss anything we haven't covered already, what's going on in the domain space, looking at the market trends, current events, and allowing the guests to mention, promote anything they want to talk about that we have not already discussed. All right. With that, let's go ahead and introduce the Sherpas. You know, I wasn't sure if we were going to do AKs. The last time we did AKs with Jen, you know, kind of like, I don't think you can beat that. You know what I mean? So it was like, where do you go from there? And I just say, I know Braden and Mar are on the show too, so I'll give them credit. But the, uh, you know, that's where y'all did the AKs for me. For the folks who did not tune into that particular episode, it was uh, pretty, pretty dope. So, all right, to my right, we have the one and only Braden Pollock, aka Tony Stark, aka Benjamin Button, aka Eat Bray Love, aka Braden Statham, aka Bradenton Beach, aka Braden Pollockton, the Archduke of Calabasas, aka Bray Den of Iniquity. What's up, man? How we doing? See, I, it's Brave like dead of iniquity, <laughs> right? Wow. That's right? a new one. Yep, every time, man. That's a problem, you know. Every time, it's like before you know it, you got a million names, like y'all do. But yeah, um, I still don't live in Calabasas, by the way. Stop trying to downplay it, man. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. <laughs> it's okay to be rich. It's okay. It's all right. It's not your fault. It's not I don't your live fault. There. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about that. I just literally don't live there. But it sounds cool and it's provocative. It gets the people and, uh, going. In the city, one city over. All right. Well, there you go. You know, but it I gets mean, it's five minutes away, but it's gets the people going, man. You but know this, what I mean? It's not <laughs> well, somebody's going to have to move then, you know? So yeah. anyway, how are we doing otherwise, man? Back in the saddle after NamesCon, living the dream. What's going on? Anything? Oh, Anything? good. I, I, I came back from, from hot Austin to hot LA. The day mm. I got back, it was 107 here. Ooh. 
Yeah, um, so it's cooled off. It's now it's actually 79 degrees right now. Okay. So. Yeah, um, I, uh, I was on a call with some folks up in the Bay. I think they were dealing with some of that heat wave. Not now. Yeah. Now it's cooled off as well. But, um, yeah, it's just crazy, man. You know, just weather, yo. So, well, it's hot here in Florida as usual. So, glad you're surviving and maintaining. Climate change is real. It is. It is. And it's, and, it's, and it's changing. So, all right. Well, let's keep it moving. Now, lower right. It is my pleasure to introduce the one and only Jen Sale, a.k.a. Aussie Osborne, a.k.a. Olivia Newton-Jen, a.k.a. Rockadile Dundee, a.k.a. Dingo Star, a.k.a. The Wonder Woman from Down Under Woman, a.k.a. Melbourne to be wild, a.k.a. Jen Yard Sale, a.k.a. Jen going out of business sale. No, those are a little negative. So how about Jen? If you have to ask how much it is, you can't afford it, and our stuff never goes on sale. What up? <laughs> Uh, yeah yeah the last one was good the last one was good the yard sale i don't know about that i think we'll over that one. Fine. <laughs> oh see this is this is what happened you never said sipping on gin and juice oh <laughs> see that's awesome that could it's getting added to the list that was Hold the on. easiest one that was like a oh. gimme uh, all right, done and done, man. Just added to the list. But I like how she's like, yeah, you can check that one off, do that one. You know, now I'm going to be getting all these requests. Like, here are the AKs that are approved, you know, when people send their, uh, you know, like they send their rider. It's like green M&Ms only in the, uh, you know, yeah. in the green room. And uh, and here are the the AKAs that are actually allowed. So 23 good, Celsius degree water. <laughs> yeah, no She's doubt. like, I don't know what Celsius means. <laughs> <laughs> So what's up, Jen? How you living? We missed you at NamesCon. What's what's going on with you? Yeah, I missed everyone. I was totally FOMOing the whole entire time. Just it was all coming up in my socials and things like that. And I'm like, no, like everyone's having such a good time. But yeah, I just um I just worked. I yeah. just worked. And um all right. yeah, someone, someone's gotta work. So Somebody's um, got to do the work. You know, Drew had the same situation with the FOMO where like, you know, we got once it was like a day in and Frank's party was happening and, you know, all the pictures of everybody were starting to get posted all over the place. You yeah. know, he was he was doing the same. And but then it's like, you know, you're missing everybody. And then you're like, but it also, you know, didn't involve having to get on six planes and travel for 24 exactly. straight hours to get there. So, yeah, I didn't miss that part. <laughs> and- <laughs> That part's always super, super painful. Um, but um, yeah, no, it um, it looked like everyone had a really good time. Like all I've heard is like, re- like I've heard really good feedback, um, like about you guys um, and Krista M. Singh. That was really good feedback. Um, some people said to me that they enjoyed Kate and Rick's session. Um so yeah, it sounds like it, it sounds like it was a successful show, and you know everyone's back and yeah. getting to hang out in person, which is cool. That's it. That's what it's all about. Yeah, Kate and Rick session was great. The uh, you know Rick really brought it, and I thought she did a really good job of like you know sort of managing him, you know, and the session because you know Rick was Rick, but you know he was really on point. It was pretty cool once he was able to work out his technical difficulties and actually was able to get on screen properly. But um, it was all good. So. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what's up. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly right. <laughs> so, all right now. So let, well, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Cause we still in segment one. So, and I got a long list. So I got to get ready for this one. You know what I'm saying? You don't have the lights to, to do the, uh, we might have to add, no, we might have to add have the techno music. Like... In. <laughs> <laughs> I can do some disappear thing. I don't know. All right. Well, down bottom. We got my boy Shane Coltra, aka Sugar Shane, aka Honey Shane, aka Mike Rowe, aka Blame It on the Shane, aka House of Shane, aka the Cultivator, aka Blue Oyster Culture, aka the Culture Personality, aka the Culture Club, aka Doing It for the Culture, aka In Shane in the Membrane. What's up? <laughs> oh, I'm glad I got right? to give you Culture. Like Culture is a good one to work with. <laughs> Shane oh, and culture. Yeah. Oh, you got like, I mean, that's the thing. Like, you know, Shane rhymes with so much stuff, you know, so it's all good. <laughs> I like I like in Shane in the membrane. Thank you. Yeah, that yeah. felt good. That felt good. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Doing it for the culture was, that was the newest <laughs> one. When everybody kept saying, I'm doing it for the culture, culture. And I'm like, nah, I'm just doing it for the culture. Like, yeah, I don't that, care. <laughs> oh, and when I introduced Braden, I didn't do his catchphrase. My bad, man. See, I already violated your rider. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's not that your domain is worthless. It's that it's worth less. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah. So, all right, man. Well, what's good with you? I see you are in the mountains right now. In, uh, so, yeah, so I'm at five, 
thousand feet. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm in outside of Boone, North Carolina, family uh, house, get away anytime. It's, it's nine hours from my house. So anytime like August was good at the nursery, super busy. And then I did the honey thing. So I was out packing and I'm just tired. So we literally just threw the dog and the wife and we drove and hit the cabin for a week. So oh, it's not, awesome. a, it's always a working vacation, but man, I feel like I'm just as busy here. I've been, I had like two podcasts and I got a spaces tonight. And then on Friday I'm doing with um, Kate, I'm taking Rick's place in the clubhouse. Ah, uh, okay. little chat. So I'm the, I'm the new Rick. For oh, Friday. You should drop we'll some of Rick's like taglines. The one that he dropped during uh, the names con session that was my favorite is the one that he does where he's like, he's like, it's not that my price is too high. It's that your idea is too small. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> you just got to drop that on somebody at some point. So I love it. Like, you got to give, give the king credit yeah. where credit is due. But, but all um, is good. Yeah. No, life, life is good. It's, uh, this is what you got to do. When you get tired, you go somewhere and get out of the way and then come back. Yeah, recharge. You know, you know the it. difference between me and Shane is we both do a whole bunch of stuff, but he actually does the stuff. <laughs> I just take credit for all my stuff, because, but I have other people do it, so I'm not as tired as him. He's like, no, I actually pa- was packing boxes. Like, Why would you pack your own? Let somebody else pack. Yeah, I got to <laughs> prove. I got to prove the concept before I uh, before I start shipping it out. Yeah, I, yeah, I always do it myself first, and then I let somebody smarter do it after that. So there's no uh, hey. sense handing a big pile of dumb, uh, crap to someone and then saying, Hey, make this awesome. I got to make sure it's awesome. And then they can scale it out, so. outsmart the dumb and outwork the smart. Right. Is that yeah, the, uh... that's exactly right. Well, that's good. Yeah. Man. Well, no, it's all, it, it's, it's been fun. I'm just having the time of my life. Like that's, that's what, you know, people make fun of NFTs and, and even domains back in the day, but the reality is it's given us a, if you want it, it's given us a pretty good, fun adventuresome meet great people lifestyle so oh, and i was yeah. in the nursery business which is a pretty cool business to begin with as well so you combine that nature with all this uh tech and innovative and smart it's man, it's, it's such a good time I, i'm literally laughing every day Just some really fun things yeah no being in the space that we're in is you know digital assets under the you know the full umbrella of digital assets because we so drew's doing this uh uh session this uh TED talk kind of thing coming up in a couple of weeks. So we've been prepping for that. And in doing so, we've really been cataloging some of like what we do and, you know, how it goes from, you know, domains and crypto and NFTs and just all the different stuff. And you realize how cool and unique of a journey it is for all of us and everyone that has kind of converged into this space, especially as long as a lot of us have been doing it. And as long as, you know, you guys have been here a lot longer than me. So it's, uh, pretty wild you know it's a unique it's a unique vibe for sure and uh in a really cool way so and we put in the hours i mean siger i jokingly said it's been 10 years and he said oh you've been doing it longer than i had the show <laughs> yeah. i said, I said well, no it will be 10 years like literally in like four months it'll be 10 years since the, the first time i was on the show a whole decade so yeah we've well, been crazy. putting in a lot of time and you know somebody also said that i, I i'm doing this for free and i'm like we all did things for nothing in the beginning. Like we literally all did things because we didn't know it was going to work out to get to where all these last, everything we just talked about. You just got to put in the time and the work. But yeah. are we still doing it for free? Some things, <laughs> no. some things. No, we it's like that are. meme. It's like, wait, y'all are getting paid for this? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. Yo, Billy, throw that meme up. You know what I mean? That kid is yeah. like, y'all getting paid for this? Because, yeah. uh, yeah, well, you know, and you do, you got to pay your dues, right? I mean, it's like, and it, it, nothing, you know, worth doing is easy or, you know, more often than not happens quickly either. So it's like, um, yeah, I mean, I was and talking- And now we to, make money on lack of patience. Sorry to interrupt you though, but now oh, we yeah. make money on the lack of patience where people can't sit still and like, okay, well, let me get you out of that so you yeah. can keep moving. Since I mean, you want to keep moving, let me buy that from you. I'll be your so exit you liquidity. Rolling. Yeah, I'll be your actual liquidity. I got patience. <laughs> I'll be your Huckleberry. Um, but the uh, yeah, man, I without a doubt, and I think it's uh, yeah, what was it? I had another thought, but now I lost. I interrupted it, but... you. Yeah, sorry about that. No, no, but it's all good. I was. Uh... You'd think with Drew being on your team, you'd have like you just cl- have a little section of your brain where you put things aside and let them finish up, and then you bring it. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of how it has to go. I keep a running like notes on my one screen yeah. when we talk, yeah. just so I can make sure I, I end up actually saying all the things that I need to on the various calls and stuff. Oh, actually, I remember what it was. So I was talking to one of our VC clients the other day, and uh, you know, we we're saying how yeah, you know, we got this podcast, and you know, well, they were familiar with Sherpa, and they're like, how long have y'all been doing that? And I'm like, well, you know, we acquired it a few years ago, but it's been running. You know, we hit our 10 year anniversary. 
It's like, y'all have that much to talk about about domains for 10, you know, you can talk about domains for 10 years. It's like, yeah, you know, that's what's crazy. Most of it's not about domains, but. <laughs> well, and that's what it is. It's like we say on the show, all roads lead to domains because they really do. And domains lead to all things, you know, and down every rabbit hole. And it's like for every domain that gets sold, it's like the sale of the domain itself is a story, but the buyer and, and their journey is a story into itself, especially when you talk about like these big premium domains that end up in the hands of end users. And, you know, I think uh, one of the things I saw, there's, a you know, uh, James Isles on one of the articles he just wrote on his own blog on James Names, jamesnames.com for everybody out there. Um, he was looking at the, the unicorn board, right? And uh, to and over a hundred unicorns are using a, you know, are on a one word.com domain, you know? And I think that's like, and each one of those is a story, right? And, uh, you know, and then some. So it's just uh, pretty badass when you think about it, you know? So, all right. Well, that's yeah. what's up. All right. So, so I think that's it. That's segment one. That wasn't too much non-domain talk, I think, for everybody. We'll slide into segment two, which is the domain game. Now, last time we did this, Jen, you did not have a buy or a sell that you could disclose. Is that still the deal or do you have some? I have one I can share today. Yes. All right. Look at that. Look at that. All right. You get all the green M&Ms you want. You know what I'm saying? That's it. You know, you're delivering. All right. Well, cool. So then let's dive right into it. So for everybody out there, I mean, y'all know what the deal is by now, but this is where we hear about what the Sherpas recently bought or sold. We all guess what we think the sale or the buy price was, and uh, we keep score and, uh, you know, the winner gets a little bit of swag. So um, we're not. Well, hey, and, 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 no, whoa, 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 whoa. I know that's been the joke. That's been the joke. But Still I think joke. everybody, wait, but everybody who's won has gotten swag, right? No. Yeah. Oh, no. Right. Oh, shoot. But because you live like. No. You literally live on another yeah, you're planet. Just still you know on a what I'm boat. saying? Like, I can't, we can't ship to you even if we wanted to. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we're going to do can. some. Hey, 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 excuse me. <laughs> I just bought some honey off of Shane and Shane's sending it to me to Australia. Oh, uh, Shane, can so you please you throw go. a hoodie in there, please? Come on, man. I got At least you, you paid for it. You. That doesn't mean you're going to get it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Talk to us when it arrives. You know what exactly. I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know, there's some custom guy going, let's say it's pretty good. Yeah, hey, 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 come, yo, hey, come try this. What's More the like Dory on this? <laughs> I know. We gotta get held up in customs. It's definitely gonna get held up. <laughs> they're gonna think it's some yeah. kind of. They're not gonna know what to make of it, especially with that coda. The uh, you know the the Yuga Labs coda dripping face thing. Yeah, oh, I, I got that waiting one. For, nice. Waiting for I got right here. I almost actually broke into the gold stuff the other day. The, the actually the white honey. Because in fact, that's something I got to do. I got to order more honey because I just finished my last jar of, of Bee House, and then I needed honey the other day. It's the secret ingredient in my wing sauce, by the way. It was football Sunday, so you know, yeah. Just a little touch, though. Hot, just a touch. A little touch of hot honey. Just now a, and put a little. Oh, that would be spicy on the that wing. could be that could be dope. Is it still like? Can I still? Well, I didn't order it. Can I still order it? I'll get you. I'll send it. To yeah, you. Don't, don't that's, you worry. What, that's yeah. what I'm talking about. Look him up. Yep. Look him up. <laughs> Let's go. And uh, but I for a second I was like, should I break into the white honey? I was like, no, I can't. I can't. I just gotta order it and just wait and be patient. Today's wings will just be just not as good as as oh, they could. Do you have it. the Do you have the white and for an You have the have an NFT, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Get, yeah, yeah, you're gonna get a free. Uh, I don't want to say it because everybody, but but you'll get a free uh, honey scent. I'm sending out everybody that has that NFT a big swag back. So ah, I'll come with some you free honey. providing value. I love it, yeah. man. I love it. Yeah. That's awesome. I got some sweet stuff coming out. We I've worked with some some people to get some stuff. So yeah, I figured wow. why not get some hot honey to everybody. Get some other things. Hey, they supported me. You know how it goes. If people support you in the beginning. You got to thank them later. So hundred percent, man. Do. Love it. That's so. what we're gonna do. All right, cool. Yeah. That's all good stuff. All right, well, let's keep it moving with the domain game. This is, uh, Braden, you're up, man. You got to buy, a sell. What's up? You, you know, we go in order. I don't see, I, I never, I don't know what, where I'm at on your screen, but I got Braden, I got Jen. You're right, you're right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one uh, thing people I complain should... about Zoom is it's not consistent. They, they don't label it, so you never know. Uh, That's okay, interesting. So yeah, you should be able to kind of put like where everyone is, and it should be the same across everybody's screens, you know? That's a that's a big that's mine's, a the, one that, mine's right? the one that matters because this is the one that's going to end up on the show. So just <laughs> but I think the host a host is always top left. I think right. Oh, interesting. Okay, yeah. I mean, I'm top. Well, yeah, top top left. I guess yeah. Depending who's left, you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, top well, facing the screen, top left. In no, because I'm in my I'm in my backwards. top right. 
This is the content they came for, guys. <laughs> all right, all right, fine, fine. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Brady. Okay, buy so I've got, you know, I don't like to do buys, <laughs> so I'm gonna do. I, I so here's here's two you can choose from. <clears throat> Raw.org. Ooh. Or corner.vc. Oof. Okay, we're probably. I I actually think we should do both, but let's start with the .org and then let's come back around on the .vc. So you said it's raw, as in like R A W. All right. Shout out to ODB. Oh, baby. I like it raw. Um, all right. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Jen, you, you, you're up first and we go in, uh, in that order. Why? Um, <laughs> she's whining already. <laughs> I, I want, um, hush, please. Oh. I want, um, I want Billy to play the, um, Jeopardy thinking music when I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Billy, put it in. <laughs> um, <laughs> I uh, I don't know. Uh, and this was a sale, right? You sold it. Okay. Sold it. Like, sold. are we allowed to look up anything? Like, I'm no, not looking no, up prices. No, no, no. You can't do shit. No, it's okay. just come on. You're an expert. You're I know you expert. just. I know you don't deal with the little names and stuff, but still, just you know. I don't think it's necessarily little. Um, I'm going to say 18,000. Okay. That's a good number. See? That's a great How guess. easy that was. That's not far off of where, what, what I was going to say. Not that I'm, you know, but I'm just saying, like, that's close to what I was going to say. Shane? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm a huge fan of .org. Like, I've had a resurgence. And, like, I think, it, I think it's way more than just uh, philanthropy. And, you know, crypto is using it like crazy now. So, I think I think org's on the way up, and it's going to go a lot further. So I, um, raw dot org. I always think photography when it comes to that, but uh, I'll say since I know it's Braden, I'll say a little bit more than that. I'll say like thirty thousand. I'm going to go thirty grand. All right. So Shane's at thirty k. So yeah, and but, Braden, are you seeing more dot org? Uh, any more interest in that, or it's always it's still sporadic? In I'm seeing org. Interest. Yeah, I'm seeing more interest. I, I have a, I have an offer right now for Nimbus.org, which is a it's a decent offer. I mean, it's it's like half what I'm asking, a little bit less than half, but but it's you know decent. I, it could very well be an investor. I don't I don't know. It's my favorite type of cloud, to be honest. So mm -hmm. you know, so yeah. it might be me. But um, yeah. all right. So, um, yeah. And I think the point about dot orgs, um, you know, there's a certain level of, you know, when you think about, you know, reputation, you think about, um, you know, um, you know, we talk about this all the time when people upgrade their domains to their like best possible dot com, you know, part of the reason is because they want to be taken seriously, you know, and I think orgs sort of have a little bit of that already kind of baked in, you know what I mean? They've been around for a long time. Um, you know, you think org organization and, and, you know, and, and I definitely have, you know, we see it with some of these crypto web three sites and stuff, and that's, you know, driving a lot of the market in general. So, you know, I think that makes sense. I, you know, so for me, you know, I was going to say, you know, I, I'm, I'm kind of torn a little bit. Braden <laughs> sold it, you know what I mean? So it's like, I don't want to, I, I don't want to gamify it. So I also don't want to cut anybody like off. So now I got to, but I'm going to anyway. Yeah. Well, <laughs> no, it's. <laughs> He's going to. Uh, I don't want to ship to Australia, so. <laughs> no, it's not. No, I, look, again, I was going to be right in between 15 and 20. So now I'm like torn here with this like, all right, do I go, literally shipping do I go 15? to Illinois, shipping Do I go 15 or do I go I'll 20? Go. You know what I'm saying? So, so I'm trying to think. You know, you can just guess. You know, I will. You can just all right, I'm going to say 20. I'm going to say 20 because I do think that it, you know there's there's real value. Okay, so you're so Jen, what was yours? She's 18. Okay. So she gets with the she has the entire lower 18, end. JT, you're 20 and uh, I think you're uh I'm 30. <laughs> right. What was I? Cuz yeah. that's what you got your uh, your 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 name. You re, you know, you renamed your Zoom I to I keep bees, right? <laughs> Go uh, go on TikTok right. and watch a video called "Your Dad Keeps Bees," and then you'll understand it. <laughs> all right, <laughs> it's fantastic. Shane, your range is impressive, man. You know what I'm saying? The fact that you even mess oh. with TikTok and everything oh. else. TikTok is amazing. I mean, the the creativity of this world is out of control. 
It yeah, is, no doubt. <clears throat> it is so good. Yeah. Back to the domain game. Yeah. <laughs> Back to the domain game. Meanwhile, <laughs> so, in the domain game. Everybody's wrong. Although you shouldn't be. I wish you weren't. Uh, I sold uh, the best. Okay, so Jen, uh, see? Yeah, Jen's the winner. Go Jen's ahead and start chipping uh, now, so it'll be there uh, by uh, October. <laughs> it, was, it was negotiated. Uh, my bin was actually 15000 Um I, I thought raw was just kind of a weird word, even though it's a three-letter, single-syllable word, but it's just kind of a weird word. Yeah, um, I'm with and you. So, so I pressed it low at fifteen. It 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 kind of opened at like four or something. We settled at 7500 Oh wow! Okay. So I, I and I uh, I know I knew I was selling it low. However, I bought it really cheap. I had it for two months, so the two month hold, and I got it in a portfolio, and I had assigned like a five hundred dollar purchase price. Oh wow! Okay. So yeah. so the multiple was there, so I just I just let it go. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's good. Yeah, you got to keep churning and burning, man. It's all good. Yeah. So fifteen. I so said that. Like I said, I was in I was in the fifteen to twenty, and then everybody got me hyped up, so I went I went over you know i went high but jen gets the point congratulations see so it's all good you know so i'm gonna be yeah. sending australia so it's, it's gonna not be it's not done yet we got we still <laughs> i know i'm but, not gonna be super helpful but well she's not gonna get this point because she's got this one's her name <laughs> oh yeah it's true this one's her this one's her name so it's uh she can't get this point all right what do you got buy or sell and what what is it um so this was obviously I can't do client ones, but it was kind of a personal one. Oh, actually, I think yourself and Braden, I've mentioned this domain to you. So I don't know if you went and looked up the price. Uh, we'll find out. Um, so it was a buy and I saw it and I said, Adam, can you please go buy this domain name for me? And he was just like, actually, that's a pretty cool name. So it's overthinker.com. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, you, you did mention that to me, but I didn't look it up. I don't know what it is. Okay, cool. Okay. By the way, um, the big up. shout out to Adam Strong. Adam, uh, I got your emails, dude. Um, we are going to try to fit you in on the show one of these days. I promise. I'm going to get back to you. You don't have to keep emailing me, man. You don't have to keep emailing me. But <laughs> we, I'll be, I'm going to hit you up soon. And uh, but in the meantime, thanks for listening, watching, and, and all that. I appreciate. I do appreciate that. You know. So big shout yeah. out to Adam. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Shane. <laughs> overthinker.com. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um and okay. Uh you bought if Adam bought it for you, that means you it was on an auction site, so it'll be a little late. By I'm the way, say, I mentioned I mentioned the thing about Adam wanting to get on the show like on stage at Namescon when we did our little red zone. I same thing. I told him, I said, Hey, I know he's not here, but I just want to say, listen, man, we're gonna we're gonna make it happen. We are. Anyway, okay, it's, just it's kind of like the um um the, on Jimmy Kimmel, Jimmy says, Kimmel, Matt Damon, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> yeah. Except, so this we'll is on, Except this is real. Except this is serious. Yeah. Except this is serious, and we <laughs> we really do want to get him on. Um, so I'll say fifteen hundred. I feel like she really wanted it. Mm-hmm. So fifteen hundred dollars. Maybe I'm overthinking it. <laughs> Sorry. You are. <laughs> um, you know so. Overthinker.com, 1500. It's a little rich, you know? I mean, yeah. it's one of those names. It's like, mm-hmm. it's one of those that if you want it, you want it. But otherwise, you know, you, you, there's other names out there like it. And there's other sort of alternatives, which would, you know, sort of eliminate the, you know, any premium pricing on it. But it is cool. And I get it. And I think we're all guilty of it. I'm going to say a thousand bucks because I think mm-hmm. there's, it's a cool name and, and there's value there. It um, depends how. If it was auction, like it, you could go to GoDaddy and put anything up, and it's like seven eighty, like right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Every yeah well, I, I think that's an important. You know, that's a good point, and that's why I think it's like one of those names, though, where if it's like you see it, buy it now at nine hundred and some, and you're like, I really want that name. You, you go out and do it. That's true you know? too. So, yeah, good point. Brighton. <sighs> Brighton. <laughs> Brighton. Yeah. Um. I'm trying to decide if I should take the over or split the difference. Okay. That's what I'm trying to decide. Jen, you want to give me a sign? No, no. What should I do? 
Um, oh man, don't give her no sign. <laughs> don't do it, bro. Let him roll. I'm, I'm going I'm to split the difference. 1250. <laughs> okay. Um, what was the what did everyone say? Jake. So oh. I, I said a thousand. A thousand to fifteen hundred. Yep. Brain's in the middle of twelve fifty. So Shane wins. Oh, she spent real money. It was it was a bit more than what you guys thought. Um, it was five six nine five. Oh wow, almost six grand. Now what? the reason why the reason why um like I pitched this one to him and I said it's a good buy at that price is because and we've touched on like the whole because you were wrong. Wellness. Pardon? Because you were wrong. Is that, that, that hey, let her tell. Let her break it down, oh, man. Sorry, I didn't realize I said that out loud. <laughs> yeah, stop overthinking it. Um, Ooh, well played. And, yeah. Well, anyway, like that whole mental health wellness stuff, which we've spoken about mm-hmm. in the past. Like, I think that's just going to like blow up in the next mm-hmm. five to ten years. Like, from what I'm seeing, um, to the point where, funny you mentioned TikTok. There's a TikTok creator who. She created a sweater, which I've got one of them, and it's got Overthinker on the front of it, and it's got Breathe In, Breathe Out embroidered on the cuffs. And um, that girl is now like some crazy multimillionaire. Every time she drops like a line of them, they sell out within, I had to wake up at 2 a.m. my time to order it. Like it was crazy. Um, so, and it, I think it is one of those more newer terms that is going to, I mean, it's not a new term, but I think it's getting used more. Yeah, Yeah, no. And I think the mental health piece is important and you know, it is, it's kind of like, I guess that's what I was saying before. This is one of those names where if you, you know, you want it, you're going to pay for it. it. (laughs) You know what I mean? So it's like, so whether that's a thousand or 6,000, it must've been a buy it now then. Like an after Nick or a, yeah. It wasn't, a, it wasn't an after Nick. It was on, um, Dan or huge. something. It was on huge, huge. Yeah. Huge. Um, oh yeah. I thought it was an option. I don't know why I thought that. If it's on huge, just do a payment plan for like six years. What I did. <laughs> Cause there's no interest on it. So I'm yeah. like, okay, no interest. I'll okay. take it for 40 years. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> What's your longest payment plan? Free money. Uh, that's what I did for I did that for marbleracing.com. <laughs> well, All right. So I never really caught on during except during COVID. So I don't have a name, but it, I need to put something in the mix here. And um I actually meant to ask to to follow with Drew this morning to see if I could pull one of the ones that we recently either bought or sold. Um Hey, every time you turn your head, uh, we can't hear you well because you're Oh, because of the the shotgun mic. Um, all right, so let me pull one off in a recent sale off a of name jet and make sure that you guys don't haven't weren't following it and Braden stay off the computer. You know what I'm saying? So hands up. What about rock hounds? Were you guys you guys paying attention to that one? We talked no. about that one on a recent show. So um all right, so that's what we're gonna go with. We're gonna go with rockhounds.com and Braden on you. You guys bought it? No, 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 no. We they didn't just buy a name jet sale. Yeah, it was a name jet sale, but we had talked about it on the show. Um you know, oh, 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 see, you just asking me what it sold for. Yep, I'm just trying to figure out what it sold because I don't otherwise have a name to put in, and it's unfair for the competition uh, if I don't. I you know. see. I uh, gotcha. Um, okay, I see. I think Rock Hounds sold for twenty three fifty. Twenty three fifty. Okay. I think I remember it being a a team. Not that they ever saw it. Oh, is it my turn? Nope. <laughs> it's Jen. <laughs> It's on you, oh. Jeff. Oh, okay. Um, gonna... I'm going to say, I'm going to say 2200 because I'm just going to roll that way today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 2200 and 2350. Shane, where are you at? Oh, um, I don't think the team found it. So I'll go, I'll give them a little range. I'll go 1900. So I'll take the under. 1900. I give him a little gap. All right, guys. Well, the point is going to go. What did Braden say? 2350. And then Jen said 2200, and you said 1900. The point is going to Braden. It sold for $12,286 on NameJet. The team definitely found it. The team definitely found it. But how do you even get up to that? 
I mean, so you had two pieces. So you had a lot of bidding actually that was going on. You had one, two, three, four, almost seven people that were in the four thousand range that were up to at least four grand. You had six up to five, and then you had four. Two, uh, oh, two more. Didn't we say it was a climber too? Didn't we say it was a climbing term? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. It's, it's, a, uh, it's a, a gemologist. A you know, What's gemologist. That word, a new, a numer, pneumatist, numer. Oh, it's your, if you're a gemologist, right? Like you're a, a but person. But isn't there that, a word like pneuma something too? But anyway, yeah, rock, a rock collector. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I totally forgot. Like, ah, yeah. And um, okay. Yeah, this one jumped out. That's why I wanted to talk about it because I mean, it's like, um, but yeah, what's a rock collector called? It is. Oh, that's rock hounding. I don't let me yeah. see what the uh, mineral collectors and uh, that's right. I forgot. I totally forgot. Yeah, amateur I geology, amateur geology or rock collecting is referred to as rock hounding in the United States and Canada. And uh, yeah, it uh, so like I said, there was four people that were willing to bid at least 7,000 for it. And then two that ran it all the way up to 11 to 12. And then that's where it settled in. So that right, one was, right. an, that was it didn't exciting. have a backlink history. You know, I, don't, I don't know. You know, it's a good question. I don't know. Um, again, we talked about it briefly on the show, just in the, you know, the run up to yeah. the auction on Namejet as a, you know, as one of the names we picked. Um, but I don't know. Um, That's what you're seeing. Like if you go to, to GoDaddy on a daily basis, it is crazy the amount of SEO money coming through right now. I mean, literally hundreds of thousands of dollars per day just for historic backlinks. And yeah, it's, there's one at, I don't know what it finished, but when I did the list uh, yesterday, it was at ninety two thousand. Uh, no. Yeah, you know what, Shane, you were you were correct. There, uh, it has a dr of fifty three. That's uh, that's. So why. what does that mean? What does dr of fifty three oh, mean? Fifty three is a lot. I, I mean, out of a hundred. Well, and uh, what's dr? Domain rating. Domain oh. uh, domain rating. Um, so it's got it's got fifteen hundred. Uh, fifteen. Oh, sorry, fifteen thousand seven hundred and seventy backlinks, uh, uh, and almost seventeen hundred referring domains. So and a lot of those are probably high page rank because they come from like educational sites because it's rock collecting and things like uh, that. Uh-huh. It's like Wikipedia, Wikipedia in France, uh, the Globe, uh, another Wikipedia, another tons of Wikipedias, a dot gov. Oh yeah, and so where, you, where 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 you, where do you gather for the benefit of the audience? Where do you gather that data from that you're no, looking that's at? A, that's a secret. I can't. I can't okay. Sure. Sorry. <laughs> All uh, good. No, so so I'm on uh, Hrefs. A H R E F S. Yeah. Hrefs. Um, yeah, because he's a new free backlink checker, and uh, it's got it's got a ton of Wikipedia and a dot gov, and uh, so this is this is legit. That's why I went so high. Yep. This is, yeah. a, this is definitely an SEO play. Yeah, it's got Wikipedia from like all over the world, which is crazy. Look at that, Rockhounds. Who would have known? Who would have thunk? All right, so right now, the way that it stands, Braden's got a point, Jen's got a point, and Shane's got a point. Right? Is that where we're at? We have a three-way tie. Yeah. Yeah. What's your point? Yeah. Well, it's up yeah. to it's. Oh, who has not? Shane, you haven't given a name yet. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, I don't, it doesn't. It's okay. I, I'll try I'm and get this one for you, man. You can always hit I'm me. Always you can always hit me. You can always hit me and tell me what you know. Even when I lose, I'm winning. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, what do you got? You got a buy? I don't, or I don't have anything. You know, I actually sold the name that we talked about last week, but I can't remember what it was, and I was too bit uh, too lazy to look which ENS name dot ETH. But I sold most of those. I flipped them all for an ETH profit. Just in that, since the week I bought them. I got, I didn't get out, but it was peaking. You know, we know volley, like we know this business. And when you see, you combine your crypto trading and your, your numer- your numerics together. And I could see the volume was a thousand ETH a day, right? A thousand ETH a day, which is a huge amount of money for a dot ETH names. But then I could see it trailing off and I'm like, okay, the bag is being passed around and the hot potato is getting going. So <laughs> boom, boom, boom. I sold them all at like a little over three, then some below three. So I, I made, I don't know, like four or five ETH this week, just flipping those uh, numeric dot ETH. So, Damn, son. Uh, it is, That's it, it is, you know? Yeah. And, and meanwhile, I'm hearing all these people like, are you, I'm getting in. I'm, it's getting low. It's Now it's where I want it to be. And I'm like, okay, yeah, you <laughs> go ahead and catch that. 
Because it's well, just going to bounce like a kangaroo. Well, yeah. Hang on. You know, if you're getting in now, you're going to be hanging. Well, you know, who knows? I don't know. I mean, that's the thing. No, like, you I, never know. But but when you see huge volume and you see FOMO, it's a really good time to sell. And you're going to miss, maybe you missed the top. Like, maybe you missed the top. But we also we also know that we, we saw the last one ended. And we know crypto goes about 100 times faster than everything else. So you take the period of time that everything ended in the other one and then divide it by 100 and then you can figure out how long this is going to last. That's my opinion. At least. <laughs> there it is. That's, Boom. That is the shame. That is the culture <laughs> formula for uh, for uh, you know, Web3 yep. time. Divide that's everything it. by 100. That's how that's you calculate it. Versus real world. That's just how things how things move. But I bought a I bought a, a, a good name that fits with what I do. I bought greatleaf.com. Ooh, greatleaf.com. Everything I love, nature and greatness. Greatleaf.com. All right. So it's it's me first. Um greatleaf.com. I like this name a lot. Um not unlike overthinker.com, you know? <laughs> and uh where you know, and I and and I'm not going to make the same mistake and under and under guess on that one. So I'm going to say five thousand, um, and uh, yeah, I mean it's it's a that's a dope little brand, great leaf. I mean you can do cannabis, you can do actual real trees, you know, and uh, horticulture. There you go. Let's go. Horticulture. <laughs> horticulture. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, See, once, you doing, once you start doing, once you start doing AKAs, you realize we do culture like, var. We do like your own culture var. <laughs> Horticulture. <laughs> All right, Braden, what do you think? Uh, yeah, it's, it does sound like a good marijuana brand. Um, and but but it's Shane. Shane's not going to spend too much money on these names because yeah. he's got a pile, a pile of these kinds of names. That's true. Uh, so That's I'm gonna true. I'm gonna say thirty five hundred. Uh, all right, that's good. All right, that's good. I made sure I set it back into the microphone. All right, Jen. I really like this one too. Like, I really like it as a brand. Obviously, hello, Evergreen. We're on the same page, Shane. <laughs> yeah, we are on the same page. Um, um, but yeah, I don't know if you would have. Look, obviously, I think I think you cashed up, but I don't know if you would necessarily overspend on it what what did you say brayden 35 hunch and he said it just like that he said 35 hunch and i said five grand (laughs) okay (laughs) um oh well i'm gonna go under and i'm gonna say 3k 3k all right yeah she went under from down under under from down under under. jenny from the oz Like Jenny from the block, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, okay. I know well, what you're saying. <laughs> Jenny from the Oz got this one. I got a good oh. buy. I bought it at auction for seven hundred dollars. Wow. Ooh. Nice. That's a good was, buy. I thought that was, that's, it was a that's good, good a GoDaddy auction. I can't believe it ended. When I looked at it, I'm like, did someone cancel and I get the next bid or something? But yeah, uh, it went wow. through. So. Nice work, yeah. man. Yeah, I over. I see. You know, I'm I'm all over the place today. Today I had not- a bid in at three grand. I really did have it. Like I just, I don't stick around for the auctions. I just don't have time. So I I usually just go all in, and then what happens happens, and come back. But sometimes I'll get something like that and shake my head and say, and I and that's the kind I don't mind sharing because. I got a good deal, and it doesn't mean you're going to get deal if you buy it from me. <laughs> it just means I got a good deal on the buy. Yeah, you make the money on the buy, man. That's how we do it. Yeah. So, all and right, those names cool. can stick with me forever because that's what I do. So I can always use it later. So, yeah, that's always a nice no, sort of safety valve. No for hurry you. to sell on on the horticulture name. So horticulture. All it looks right, like well, you might be shipping to Oz, baby. Jenny, Jenny from the Oz. Billy, play a little of that Jenny from the block yeah. right now. Can I get a oh. uh, overseas book rate to uh, Australia, please? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That'll be seven months and eight dollars. How about an <laughs> NFT? I can send that digitally. You know what I'm saying? So, um, okay, all right. If I, can, if, I can, if I can choose which one you're going to send me, JT, sure. <laughs> Are we doing that? Uh, we'll see. Okay. We'll see. We'll, we'll see, see how know, the honey you know. goes. We'll see how the honey goes. Yeah, we'll just follow exactly. that path. So, okay. um, all right. So, Jen with the big win, aka the Ever Queen. You know, see? <laughs> see? All right. All right. We're not done. We're, we're never done. I like that. I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, with the big, big win, we're going to have to put a swag pack together and, and ship it down under. All right. So, but 
really quick, let's jump. Uh, let's do a quick commercial. And then when we come back, we'll be here on Domain Sherpa where all roads lead to domains. Get money. Let's get the get, get, get money. Media Options is the industry's leading domain broker specializing in domain acquisitions, high value domain sales, and domain name consultation. As pioneers and thought leaders on the subject of the domain aftermarket and domain name value, plus through their clear domain acquisition service, Media Options offers startups and established corporations an unparalleled scope of high-value domain options, providing access to domain names and curation technologies not available elsewhere. Media Options believes in the power of a great domain name and is dedicated to helping you obtain yours. Call or email today to put a domain to work for you. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. We're here on Domain Sherpa, where all roads lead to domains. Got my boy Braden, my boy Shane, and Jen Sale, who just picked up the big win in the domain game. So now we're going to slide into the next segment, which is Namejet and a Jet, sponsored by our friends at Namejet. That's where we look at a list of domains coming up for auction on Namejet, see what the Sherpas like, what they don't like, names that they might bid on, names they might avoid. Um, we've got a list. You can go to domainsherpa.com, go to the post for this particular episode. You can download the Excel sheet that has the names, the Estabot appraisal, how many back orders as of the time that we tape the show, how many days left in the pre-release period as of the time we air the show. Say it on every show. These are all expiring domains, which means they're going to be private auctions, which means you need to have a back order in before the back order deadline ends. Otherwise, you cannot participate in the auction. All of these have multiple back orders. They're all definitely going to auction. Um, and in order to participate, you have to have a back order in before the end of the back order period. Um, there are a few of these that are kind of tight on time, but um, you know you should be okay if you download the list and get on it. Uh, all good. We've got a pretty good list today. We've got 18 names. And uh, you know, let's go. Uh, we started the domain game with Braden. So let's start the, uh, the name Jack and a Jet segment with Jen. Jen, what do you like? What don't you like? Let's uh, talk to us. Um, <clears throat> I like Gothica. That's my pick out of all of them. All right. Yeah. It, it's a cool brand. Um, that would be my fave. It sounds um, familiar. Is that was that was that a brand? I mean, I know there's the movie, right? There, but the there's the movie the, with Halle Berry was Halle, Halle Berry, Berry, yeah, a little little horror flick. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Right. That one was spelled right. the same. It was a good horror. That was a good horror too. I like that one. <laughs> so, it's, so all right. So, but it sounds familiar almost. You know. So I, I agree with you. I like the name too. But all right, go ahead. What? So, what do you think in auction? What do you think that should sell for? Oh, if you're trying to buy it. I'm not gonna um, let you get off easy just by naming the names. I got. I'm gonna have to press you a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So uh, the audience wants to know. Well, who knows? People seem to be. Sometimes they can be a little bit crazy in these auctions, um, <laughs> and um, like I really like it for a brand. Like I mm -hmm. think it's really cool. Um, uh, it's got 95 back order, so yeah. If that means yeah, this anything. one is not going to fly under anybody's radar. You know, this is definitely yeah. when you look at how many back orders some of these have. There's a few that you're kind of like, oh, so people, you know, sleeping on this one, but this particular one is going to, I think, pop to some degree. And you know, and I agree with you. I see it like a brand. It could be some clothing. Yeah. It could be music. It could be gaming. It could be, I mean, literally a ton of different things. It's got an edge to it, but you know, so you think um, it's a ten thousand I... dollar name? Yeah, that's Ninja? what. I was the 10 to 15 is probably where I think it's going to land, um, which I still think that's a, actually a good buy, in my yeah. opinion, for that yeah. name. Um, if someone gets it for around that, um, yeah. All right, cool. Um, what was the other ones that I thought? Well, JT did send it to us all like last minute. So obviously none of us <laughs> oh, been man. able to like prepare for any of this. Well. <laughs> You know, because of the time he knows, difference, he you knows got we're it not overnight. going to anyway. So, why, why waste it? <laughs> yeah, I give everybody a week's advance notice, and they're still scrambling for it the day of. For what it's worth, because you're on the time zone difference, though, like these guys have at least had the day to review it. You know, for you, it came sure. in overnight. I know, I know, my bad. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> um, I think um, I don't mind Ocean Club. Um, it's okay. But, uh, like, I think you'd want to pick that up just in that, like, like, it does have, like, 89. Is that 89? 
Yeah. Back orders. Yeah, that's on got it. 89 back orders. That's another one that, you know, it's still two weeks left. I mean, Ocean Club to me is pretty interesting because, you know, I know there's restaurants that already use the name Ocean Club. There's one actually right. in Scottsdale. I don't know if I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming they're still open. I remember going there a while, while back. It was, you know, pretty like hot spot. Um, you've got all these beach clubs, like all up and down the coast. I know after COVID, you know, that kind of stuff was, you know, exploded. Um, mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I know here where we are not, you know, a little south of Jacksonville, north of St. Augustine. It's like all the beach clubs are running like two, you know, three year waiting lists for people that are trying to join. And it's, you know, mm -hmm. tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars to join. So, you know, it's, you know, I, I don't know, none of them are called Ocean Club, but they could just as well be called the Ocean Club or Ocean Club. So I think, um, you know, but yeah. So again, I think this is another one that's not necessarily going to sneak past anybody, but uh, mm. I, I also like it. I don't. And, and the, uh, yeah, so that's probably my picks. And then I really don't like Ublisher. What on earth is that? Ublisher. It, it must be something. I it was a company. Oh, okay. Cool. I, I didn't look it up. I was just like, that's an awful name. Like, it's like, it's really clumsy. Like, yeah, to me, like, yeah, when I it is. That. That's funny that you say that. It, I thought it was interesting, though. You know, it's the idea of like self publishing, right? Has become, you know, yeah, so yeah. it's like, okay, you can publish yourself. So you're a Ublisher instead of a publisher. <laughs> hey, look. I'm, they're not I'd my name. Mark yeah. Levine. I'd have to ask Mark Levine. Oh, yeah. Call, hey. Call myself publishing. Shout out to Mark Levine. Let's when we air the show, Billy. Let's let's call him out and and hit him up specifically and see what he thinks of that domain name. You know what I mean? Because he's be king, literally the king of self publishing. He literally wrote the book. He did. He did. He self published the book. He self published oh. the book about self publishing. That was he's, a good seller. I mean, he's a ublisher. He's a he's a ublisher. He's, he's, he's the best ublisher in the world. All right. So, okay. It doesn't exactly roll off the tongue. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, it's but it's sparked a conversation. So, yeah. I'm, uh, you know, all right. Well, cool. So, all right. So, those are the ones that we've got two Ocean Club and Gothica. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, and on the other side, the one to be a little cautious about would be Ublisher. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I. It's hard it, to say. It's hard to say. And if you can't say it, the problem yeah hey you can you know jt ublisher.com it's like wait what <laughs> so all right all right so well so there goes that business idea out the window yeah so, so much for business in a box um <laughs> that box is now a coffin all right shane what's <laughs> what's good dog what about you uh, Mary? Dark. it's so dark <laughs> it did it went dark well gothic started the process there you know what i mean it's yeah. like so meanwhile, my kids have been asking me because my kids have been watching Stranger Things. All right, we're going on a little bit of a tangent. My kids have been watching Stranger Things. Nope, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're doing it. My kids are watching Stranger Things with me. They love it, right? And uh, so we've been having a lot of fun with that. So now they're like, what are the scariest movies you've seen? What are movies that we can watch? Now, they're in the, you know, I don't, you know, the 10 to 12, you know, it's that range, right? So middle school-ish, you know, they're not in the rated R movies yet. So that became a question in the house, which is, you know, what are PG-13 sort of Stranger Things style movies that would be appropriate for them to watch that would give them the proper mix of scares and thrills with a little bit of humor and other things? Because that was another thing. I, they were like, what's the scariest movie you ever saw? So, you know, I'm thinking like, OK, you know, the first Friday, the 13th, uh, ever see The Ring, you know what I mean? Things like that. And they're like, oh, would we like that? I'm like, no, you would hate it. I think I hated it. I watched it like at a house like where Shane is, you know, in the woods. <laughs> on break one time and i remember like i like spent the night under the bed because it was like the worst movie watching experience ever i was like legit terrified and there wasn't any redeeming qualities of the movie other than that so what do you guys think so that my my questions are as follows a what's the scariest movie you ever saw yeah. and b what would be a recommendation for the middle school kids out there that want to piggyback off something off of stranger things well you and i have had the, we, we've had the horror chat because we both like horrors. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, I t and I told them Lost Boys. You know, I mean, that's we're putting that on the list. Like, is that what you're about to say? Well, oh, that would be one that I would allow them. Yeah, that I would let my own watch at that age range. But like I said to you, I was like brought up on horrors. My mum, I watched Poltergeist when I was like five years old. I, I cried the whole entire time. <laughs> that's because like, you look like the little girl on the TV. <laughs> <laughs> Billy, Billy, throw it up, throw it up. <laughs> she thought Ooh. it was you. You're like, hold on, what's going They're on? They're back, right? Wasn't no, that was that her? I, 
<laughs> yeah, uh, yes, that was her. Right. But um, for me, the scariest movie, I would say, it's it, it's a it's between two for me. It would have to be The Exorcist or um, The Shining. Oh, okay. Two of my faves and classics. Yeah. I'm always yeah. gonna gotta throw back. Um, but yeah, like I mean, there's a lot of like newer scary ones that are coming out. I could talk about horrors all day, which we won't. Sorry, people. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Like, no. um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So I'm not a good person to ask what you should let your kids watch. <laughs> yeah. You're like, I, you should scar them for life is what you should do, yeah. right? It's like, you know, just rip rip the Band-Aid off. All right. So that's what's up. Shane, what about you, man? What was the scariest movie you ever saw? I don't know about the scariest, but I thought the first Saw was pretty original. Ooh, like okay. Making them do the little tricks and pull the keys yeah. in the eye kind of thing. Oh, dude. Like, yeah. And then the, the end and all that. Saw was crazy. Yeah. That was like the first thing. That was like, to, you know torture porn or whatever you know what i mean it just yeah, started that kicking was, off that like was, uh, you know original like all, all that, that like usually the craziness same, and that one was a little bit different so that one was pretty good and then yeah i mean i th- think the sexy saxophone player in lost boys is definitely worth waiting for so <laughs> <laughs> let's go <laughs> Lost Boys. if you watch if you watch that movie you'll know as soon as that scene comes on you'll think of me now with the greasy <laughs> bow <bohunk> playing the, <laughs> at the carnival oh yeah <laughs> Well, that's the problem with Santa Cruz, right? It's too many yeah. damn vampires. Yeah. Um, so what? Um. All right, Braden, real quick to you, man. What, what was the scariest horror? Are you a horror flick guy at all? Like, what's your? Uh... Not even a little. I don't know any of these references. I haven't seen <laughs> these movies. I don't oh, like man. scary movies that make me pee in my pants. All right. All right. Fair <laughs> enough. Well, we're not trying to. We don't want to make you relive any of that trauma. Although, yeah. quick shout out to the movie. You know, when you talk about a novel horror movie, for me. Scream was so badass the first time I saw Scream, you know what I mean? Yeah. Cuz that did kind of flip what cuz the horror genre had become kind of formulaic formulaic uh if I'm saying the word right, right? The uh and, you know, and it was and then you know, you had Friday the 13th got up to like number 8 or whatever and Halloween got up to number 5 and Fro- Nightmare on Elm Street. And then it was like, you know, almost like cheesy or whatever and then they flip it, you know? And then that was was awesome. So I loved Scream the first time I saw. It. I don't know if it's appropriate for my kids, but that was really and get out might be good for your kid. Like I think get out was a good, that, I have not seen it, but film. it's on my list and I need to see it like, like yesterday, yeah. you know? So big shout I out. I don't to even you. have a list. <laughs> you're, like, you're like, I burned the list. I can't, my kid's I can't. 23 years old. She's watching like euphoria. <laughs> so. Yeah. Well, that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother thing and a whole nother topic. No, I'm, for like, another I'm day. way past those kind of things. So. Yeah. All right. So what we will do is I, we will find out what this, the section of movie talk and I will let people know in the, in the description <laughs> how, to, how to avoid it. Um, but yeah, but anybody that has recommendations on either the scariest movie they ever saw or something to add to the list, please let us know. Hit us on Twitter. Put us put it in the comments on the blog. Like, you know, let us know what's up. All right, now let's keep it moving on Name Jack and a Jet. And, <laughs> you know, actually, uh, there was a horror movie one time. It involved trying to transfer my names out of Network Solutions. And, uh, oh. <laughs> I, I, I'm playing. That was, that I'm was just, called Get It Out. <laughs> get, get It Out. I'm just playing. It's all good. You know, it's uh, them's all but, jokes, hey, y'all. Speaking of IPmanagement.com, Let's uh, go. Mark Monitor was purchased by the company of Newfold. Jeff. I think that was a fantastic purchase by them. You know, that was one of those. That's one of those things. Yeah. So Newfold just purchased um, Mark Monitor for like. And, it, and who is million. Newfold? Newfold. Yep. Is- Newfold is the conglomerate that is you know uh, the umbrella that now has Web.com, which you know at the time when they you know changed it was when Web went from being publicly traded to private. They rebranded as Newfold Digital. Uh, so that was Web.com, Network Solutions, Register.com, all under the umbrella Snap Names. At that point, Namejet. At that point, and then they, uh, you know, further acquired Endurance, right? So then that, they got buy domains and all the domain dot com and Bluehost and all that stuff. And then, uh, and now they've acquired Mark Monitor, which I think is a great move for them. In fact, that feels like a GoDaddy move, to be honest. You know what I mean? Like the fact that they got in there, you know, because GoDaddy's trying to build out their GoDaddy corporate domains business, you know, and doing some really good good things there. Um, you know, I thought this was a really good move by uh, Newfold without having any inside info on it or anything. I thought it was, it was, it sounded like good news for them. So, see? Yeah. Yeah. See, we can see, that's you- where IP management comes in. See, yeah. There you go. So, let's go. Segue. Segue. So, keep going, go. man. So, you like that okay, as one of the names uh, on the list? So, uh, uh, I think if you do that, you would add it to your portfolio. I don't think you'd brand around it, but I think if that's something you do, you definitely want to have that coming right back to you for SEO. Mm-hmm. So 
if I if I did that for a living, and you'll get it pretty cheap. There's not many back orders. Again, you, you're not going to brand your company IP management, I don't think. So uh, I think that'd be a, a good add to the mix. You could, you like could brand ways. yourself IPM, IP management, you know, or IPM. That is true. You know. But I think you'd want IPM.com. True, true, very true. Instead, yeah. I think you'd want to go, you know, you want your best name for your company and then buy all the rest of the names that help you out. So I like product names that are small. Like we talked about shrink wrap the other day. If I owned Uline, I would definitely own shrinkwrap.com. Mm-hmm. Like I would own my biggest products and bring them all back home um, or build them out small and then bring them out, bring them home. Uh, I love new empire. I, I, I mean, it's, to me, it sounds like a new big brand the newest, best thing. It's got a lot of back orders at 120. The appraisal is ridiculous. I don't, I don't pay attention to appraisal, but I do pay, pay attention. It says it's worth $2,500. Yeah. Way, way more than that. But I think that's a really good name. It does sound like a video game, but I think mm-hmm. it also could be crypto and you know it could be anything right now. Um, there's a lot of them I don't like. It's one of my least favorite lists. No, no offense. Um, <laughs> JT, I don't but, take ownership. I, all I can do yeah. for, the, for what it's worth, just so you know, I spent a lot of time putting this list together. Um, but all I can do is take names that are on the name jet and yeah, yeah, up. no, there was, there's a little dry name jet. was a little dry the last couple of weeks. I agree. Um, I do like lala.net. I know it's a dot net and they're not worth that much, but, the, but lala is just like oh. low, low, lala, bobo, any of those repeating are such great brands and, and you're going to get it fairly cheap. I think because it's a dot net, I, I call it the dot net discount code because nobody really <laughs> wants to play with dot net so that's oh that's say. good so use your dot net, net discount code net i gotta play code, can yeah. I, that's got to go into your uh you know your quotes your quotables your sherpa sherpables yeah. you know i, I use that all the time on on uh dsad because you always get nets are cheap and yeah. not a lot of people do buy them but that's a pretty strong one and, and again if you get it cheap enough then it, it works i mean i'm the only one i think i've paid more than for a dot net than anybody i bought butterfly.net for 10 grand but butterfly well, you, net you got Braden so on. You got, you got Braden on. Oh, butterfly.net. That's I wasn't That's even thinking about that. That's, That's awesome. A great, That's a great name. But let me see what I paid for my dot net. And then we'll, we'll, then we'll, no, you're <laughs> we'll talking talk like, about you got Braden on here and you're talking about, oh, you're the biggest dot net buyer. No, you know I'm, I'm just saying like, recently. <laughs> <laughs> he's about to shut it down right now. He's about to be like, bam. Well, so, I've got I've got a two letter dot net. So well, I paid much count. more than that. Um, I've got true.net, T R U. I've got superior.net. True net. So, did okay. you pay over 10 grand for any of those? Well, definitely uh, the two letter, right? Uh, the, oh, yeah, 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 two letter, yeah, yeah. The two letter I did, yeah. Yeah, just right. recently, there's not a lot of people buying it. So, it's, it's a tougher sell. But again, those are the words. If I'm going, to, I always say this: If I'm going to buy a .NET, those are the kinds I'm going to buy. I'm not yeah, yeah, for sure. very many, but but the specialty ones I, I'm going to get. Um, no, but I do agree. Aren't... You know, interestingly, I I do agree with you though. .NET. I mean, you know, it has kind of like through, the, especially now, it seems to be just not favored by you know any of the new wave type folks that you know are no. driving some of the domain trends, right? The crypto Web three, you know, .NETs work for you know maybe some older like legacy type businesses that you know but all the new you know all the millennials let's say and you know younger dot net doesn't even exist to them you know yeah every time you give them an email address with a dot net you have to double question them is is it a dot net (laughs) like it's charter dot net that's a real email okay (laughs) no doubt making sure yeah (laughs) so it it is a tough one but uh, but it is it is generally memorable like if you tell somebody it's a dot net. They do remember that. I, I use that on my daughter all the time. If I tell her it's a dot net, she does remember that. I think because it's because yeah. Okay. I'm there's sorry. so many new endings. Like here's the thing is you have to be cognizant of the ending at this point because there is dot WTF dot everything in the world. So you have to be cognizant of what's after the dot now. You can't no. assume it's a dot com anymore. So that may work in the favor of dot nets and some of the other things to actually come back into play because you're having to concentrate on what is to the right of the dot. Yeah. The only thing I'll say though, is that the problem with dot net, no one refers to the internet as the net anymore. You know, like, no. oh, I'm surfing the net, you know what I mean? I'm surfing the web, find me on the web. But nobody, I don't even, even remember what com stood for. So that's true. 
But calm is yeah. so, you know, calm is calm, right? So it's common. Just, it stands for common. Yeah, it sounds, <laughs> stands for commercial. Um, I, but, sold, I sold like three dot nets last year. Um, and, and looking right now, three dot nets last year and none this year uh, so far. But Oh, you know what we didn't I, do? I, I didn't sh- have, wait, wait, okay. wait, wait. But I did have a uh, an offer last week. For midnight.net and a ten thousand dollar offer, which I declined. Oh, you turned that down? Mm-hmm. There you go. Wow, that's a but great yet name. you took raw.org for seventy five hundred. Come on, Braden. Yeah. Well, it's because because <laughs> I missed out on the dot the midnight.net sale. So <laughs> <laughs> I was making up for it. Uh, well, I just, um, electricity costs are so expensive here, my cars needed to be refunded. And then then last last year I sold um I sold expungements, uh, <laughs> yeah, expungements.net and California expungements.net, and I sold heist.net. There you That's go. dope. What was the, the VC? Man. What was the VC name that you were going to mention earlier? So you said, oh, you sold heist.net for five thousand. Yeah, last year in December. That, yeah. What was the VC name you were thinking about throwing out there um, during the domain well, game? uh corner.vc corner.vc yeah i just sold that yeah yesterday can we guess or do you want to save it for the next show what are you thinking Uh, when's the next show man oh you know next well not next week because next week we got an off the market forever so you you can guess if you want all right so corner.vc the reason why i want to bring it up is because you mentioned it earlier i said we were going to do it and I think that, you know, this is one of those, you know, other extensions, which is starting to get a little interesting, you know, and I have a dot, I mean, I use jt.vc as my, like, you know, if you go to that, it'll take you to my LinkedIn, you know what I'm saying? You can see all my over, my over-education, um, my over-educatedness, um, as you can tell by the way I speak, right? Cause I speak good. Um, <laughs> but so corner.vc, you sold it or you bought it? You sold it. Oh, I sold it. Cool. All right. What is it? corner weird one right yeah but i was so you know i probably in the five thousand you know range would be my guess as to what you sold that one for so that'd be my guess so this is a little bonus domain game it's just kind of curious yeah you know shane jen what do you think like i'm gonna say 7500 it was a package deal with raw (laughs) (laughs) Uh, (laughs) oh to the floor roll like reservoir dogs Um, um all right jen what do you think Oh. I would say, what did you say, JT? I said 5,000. <laughs> yeah, I would probably go, I'd say 4,000. I don't know. It, it's a, yeah. It's yeah. it's nice, but yeah, I go 4K. And you don't love like, it because the eight, extension eight. in general or just the extension and doesn't fit the left of the dot, right of the dot, there's nothing special. Because nobody puts baby in a corner. That's why. <laughs> oh, yo, let's go. <laughs> That was Je- that was Jennifer Grey, right? Isn't that who is in Dirty Dancing, right? See? Yeah. Let's go. Another right. great movie. Another great movie. See, that's a different uh, topic, different time. All right, 4,000. <laughs> All right, no, that's cool. 4, yeah. Braden? Jen wins, 3,500. Oh, I, I can't shake that. her off her win. Price. She even won the bonus price. round. You know what I'm saying? Like, she price. even won the yeah. bonus round. Bring me the money. <laughs> it's, it's my it's my third VC sale this year. Uh, all of them were thirty five hundred because that's what I have. I mean, there are a couple that I do have priced higher, but um, but all three were at thirty five hundred. Uh, Robust dot VC and Forerunner dot VC also sold this year. All three. okay. Forerunner with like F O R E or number four. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. Well, I probably like Forerunner the least, you know, out of all of them. But I think um, Corner.vc is dope. What was the other one? Robust. Robust.vc. Not bad. I like Corner the best. I mean, yeah. Corner.vc is pretty cool. I think if you've yeah. got a plan for a brand, you know, or you have a fund, or, you know what I mean? Something like that. Like, I think that's like could Cornerstone. Be... Yeah, I like that. I think that's pretty dope. So, all right, cool. Not to take us off on a tangent, but we're talking about, it, uh, you know, other extensions. And I think it's, you know, that's useful information for the audience i didn't want to forget to bring that up um all right so and then uh so well brady why don't you keep it moving since shane covered a handful of names what do you like and don't like on the list um what about aliens.net going back to dot net um decent name i don't i don't know if it's gonna sell for 
retail, I don't know. Um, it's probably going to get overpriced in the auction. That's my okay. guess because it because the search volume is so high. Mm-hmm. But I think it's that's going to be tough to sell for much money. Okay. Um, Apol, A P O L, is a bunch of companies named that. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think that's decent. Uh, Groundwork, same thing. There's a bunch of companies called Groundwork. It's a dot org, but anybody that just wants to stick with Groundwork as opposed to get Groundwork or buy Groundwork or whatever. I love ground and I like groundwork.org. That one, like there were a handful of orgs that I could have included um, in the list today. And I included that one because I like that a lot, even as an actual nonprofit, you know what I mean? Like laying the groundwork, doing the work, like there's something all like the landscapings are plural. I mean, if it had an S every land groundworks is a popular landscaping name as well. Everything mm-hmm. comes back to it. horticulture. You know what I'm saying? The whole world like, does. You know, you grow your food. <laughs> All right. Um, I think IP management is good because it's a it's a growing industry. Uh, Lala.net, also same thing. There's a lot of companies called Lala. Um, and then the last one I'll mention is OceanClub.com because I own Ocean.Club. Oh, nice. There you go. So well, that could be... Uh, mm, that's worth more than .com. There's something there, you know what I mean? So, um, And no love for Ublisher. You know what I'm saying I can't zero, sell anybody on can't sell anybody on a little Ublisher. So, Mark, come on, chime in, man. Let us know what do you think. Sixteen people like it. Let's so. go. Let's yeah. go. And yeah, still... probably for the backlinks because it was a company. Yeah, yeah. very possible. So, yeah, all right, cool. Here. Yeah, well, I think we covered almost all of them. Uh, you know, a couple of names on here that we didn't talk about, but um, you know, car think... party. I love it. Big Soul's not a bad name. Big Soul's pretty, a pretty good name, too. I think Big Soul, too, big like soul to me is cool. I like that a lot for big, you know, there's a lot of different things that I think Big Soul could be used for. Oh. Um, oh, car wait, Party oh. I put on there just to hear Jen say it. You know, oh, no, I got like, a, I got a, Car Party. Car Party. <laughs> <laughs> you know I, just gotta, I just got to jump in <laughs> because Ublisher is going to sell for a lot of money. Okay. Tell me why. Tell me. Tell uh, me why I'm right. It, got, it is a DR of 83. Ooh. Which is huge. huge. Uh, Would you say huge. Yub? Would you say it's huge? Yub? <laughs> it's huge. It's, yub. it's got twenty one thousand referring domains with five point three million backlinks. Damn, son. Yeah. Mark Levine doesn't want to talk about it because he's bidding on it. Oh, I mean, he's probably like he's gonna be so mad when this show comes out. You know what I'm it saying? Is he's gonna be like, no. Legit. Like, I, I still don't you. like it. I still don't like it. But still, anyway. still no <laughs> only look, sure. Why do you want to buy backlinks? We're looking forward. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right, Shane. There we go. There we go. It's, all it's good. gonna sell. It's gonna be one of those names that people are like, "What kind of crazy shitty name is this?" And why did it sell for thirty five thousand dollars? No. So I'm telling you now. That's why. All right. Cool. Yeah. I mean, I just think it's interesting. I don't know that I love it necessarily. I just threw it on the list, but. I'm curious to get Mark's feedback and, uh, you know, we'll keep an eye on it and see how it does. Now I feel like now it's a thing. Now I'm like super invested in it, you know? So now I want backlink ratings for all the names on my list. You send me. I know. Well, you know, that's (laughs) it because it is interesting. You know, I just pulled the data that comes off of Estebot, by the way, shout out to Estebot. Um, you know, the appraisals take them with a grain of salt. You know, we say, you know, domain appraisals are, are, are a difficult thing to do. There's a whole, so, you know, somebody actually just today was asking me, how, how do you value domain names? And it's like, oh, man, how much time do you have to talk about it? You know, because, <laughs> you know, it's, uh, you know, sign up for DN Academy, which is actually going to become GoDaddy Academy, right? Is that the plan for that? Is that what's going to happen there? Yeah. The, the the club. So they still leverage the um, the Rosner equation. I don't know if they'll you know rebrand that or not. But the um, but anyway, um, but I think it's interesting. So we pulled the data off Estabot and uh even looking at the name like Rockhounds, um, you know, because it's the SERP, the searches, the CPC, all those on Rockhounds was pretty light, you know. So based on just that data alone, you know, you wouldn't have known, you know, all the all the href stuff that you know popped when you actually look at backlinks and all of the history and whatnot. So, um, you know, just uh, so yeah, data, data, data can't make jars without clay. You know what I'm saying on some Sherlock Holmes shit, but that's what that's from, by the way. Shout out to Robert. Yeah, I, I skipped that Richie. One. I was more of a Clive Cussler guy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, that's fine. If you, you know, that's, if you're, uh, you know, it's like not James Patterson. Who's the guy that, uh, the Crimson Tide, uh, John Grisham, maybe? Is that, uh, uh no, no, that wasn't Crimson. Um, 
God, who is that? Crimson Tide is. Oh, this is going to turn into a different tangent. Patterson. Anyway, yeah. I, I bet. Know. Yeah. Didn't I say that at first? Wait, is it James Patterson? No, but he's. Hold on. I don't know. <laughs> Crite. I got Crite, Crite, and Grisham and Clustler. That's all I read. So I don't know. Oh, Richard Hentrick, Henrik. Oh, oh, no, that's oh, we, not. We've never gotten that one. We're just yeah. domain people. We don't know. We don't know movies. We don't know books. We don't read much. Yeah, no, we know a li- we know a little about a lot. That's the thing. You know what I mean? That's what it comes down to. So, and uh, yeah, because Clive Custler does like a lot of the military, you know, CIA type, you know, that sort of stuff. You know, Jason Bourne and whatnot. You know, yeah, um, that was the first. That was, I mean, he was one of the most popular writers of all time. Most people don't even know about him, which is crazy. So. Anyway, yeah, I don't know if I've, you know, I've read a lot of beach stuff. You know, the the one, and that's uh, Born Identity, by the way, is Robert Ludlum. One guy that I read a bunch of stuff that's like sort of my beach reading is uh, is Lee Child with the Jack Reacher books. Anybody read Jack Reacher stuff? Oh, I didn't know, but I've yeah. seen the movies. Oh, yeah, that's my jam. Well, when they originally cast Tom Cruise, you know, a lot of people were fired up because Reacher in the story is like, you know, 6'3", 250 yeah. pounds. Tom Cruise buys the rights. He's like, I'm going to play it myself. You know what I'm saying? I got this. That's <laughs> you know that's I mean? like Kyle Cluster's main character was like 6'3", 53-year-old dark guy, and they cast Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> oh, man, there you go. All right, so. all right. We're going to have to get off this ship, man. <laughs> all right, all right. That's that's what I love about these ships, man. You know, like I get older and they stay the same age. Yeah, they keep yeah. flowing, but I got to get going. <laughs> Just keep on swimming. <laughs> keep on swimming. <laughs> <laughs> i don't know this it's we 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 are officially off the rails um yeah. but yeah lee child jack reacher those books are, are really really cool in my opinion i enjoy those a lot um also the bob lee swagger stuff is good too um when they started kind of the same thing marky mark you know even though kind of against you know not exactly you know cast against type but the uh you, you gotta know. bring in the ticket that's why you've got uh, jen and i here you gotta bring in the audience sometimes Dude. you just gotta cast different all day you know what i mean <laughs> we know we know where the bread is buttered all right so we went through the name <laughs> list so definitely grab it download it and uh hopefully it helps you all out um all right well look we're into the last segment and we've got about five ten minutes tops Let's uh, go around the horn and see if we make sure we haven't missed anybody and any of the things that we got going on. Shane, we'll start with you. Um, I know you had the honey that you recently sold. Yeah. You're in the mountains. So the I've got life. DSAD, what else? DSAD every morning. You still write the list, go through the list, kind of make some recommendations, tell little stories at the beginning sometimes. So that's a daily a daily thing. Um, yeah, with the honey company, little side gig. We've, we just harvested... 50 something hives of honey uh, over this past week. So all the honey has been taken in. I got one batch of pure white and super sweet. So I don't know what I'm going to call it, but it's really clean and really super sweet. I don't know what the bees ate in those hives, but they're fantastic. <laughs> so that was, uh, man, I got the, and I'll tell you, I got the worst heartburn. So I was pouring, I poured 163 bottles of hot honey over the night. And I have this gate valve that I, I shut. And then it slowly drips and, and I, you know, I move the bottle aside and I just kind of take my finger and I lick it. Now I don't touch the honey. Don't, I'm not getting it contaminated, but I just touch it a little bit. Just and I got the worst. I got a heartburn that has never been felt before. I thought I was going to die. I was like, I called Travis. Cause I know he sometimes you get heartburn. He's like, uh, you need to do baking soda. And I called him back, dude, I think I'm going to die. He's like, okay, you're not going to die. Take, um, apple cider vinegar put that in there so i drank that and he's like and i called him back it's not working man I, ah. <laughs> and he's like you got tums, tums <laughs> so man. Finally, i just took like i took everything on the shelf it lasted two days heartburn Oof. of two days from eating so much jalapeno or uh, uh carolina reaper honey i just oh my god i probably ate two bottles worth Wow. Well, so, I'm glad you pulled, it, it, I'm glad you pulled through, you know what I mean? Tums yeah, is usually, no. the, usually enough to get it done. You know what I mean? So, and you get your yeah, calcium too. So I think if you get the wrong kind of pepper in the wrong spot, but yeah, so I've been doing that, having a good time. I, uh, the nursery has been going great. It's mom season, like starting to get in the seventies and you got the pumpkins out and the moms and all the families are coming to get their stuff. It's just football's in the air. I go to some football game. I'm on a college campus. So I also had 50,000 18 to 22 year old people come in there with just a good party attitude. So it's, it's, it's been a good time. This is my favorite time of year. So all's all right. good. 
And we're in that fantasy football league, uh, the League of Apes. <laughs> Unfortunately, I lost week one. You know what I mean? So there's some there's some real deals in that eight in that in that group. Oh yeah, it? it's super super dope, man. I appreciate you getting me in, and uh, yeah. I just got to step up. My team was a little soft in week one. I won most of my other fantasy leagues. I'm in like a ton of leagues, especially now that my kids play. So it's like, um, but that league. I don't know is, if you saw Richard Ryan from that league is, you know, he's the founder of Black Rifle Coffee and he got, he's known for his video. So he gets 10 million views and has millions of followers. But a couple of weeks ago, he tried to kick a field goal with explosives. So he <laughs> put this giant piece of explosive underneath the football and kept trying to make uh, field goals with it, and every time he just blew the football into smithereens. But <laughs> it was like, it's fantastic to watch these guys living their life to the fullest. Like, you know, 30 to 50 year old people just having fun and building businesses and and that's what that league is. It's full of serial yeah. entrepreneur people having a great time. So yeah, no, I'm glad you're part cool. of it. Yeah, and they've got a cra- they they got a great business. So um yeah. but yeah i can imagine like that's i i you know that's I, i'm gonna go check the video out that seems like a tough way to kick a field goal but, <laughs> <laughs> yeah all right cool man all right Braden, what about you and then we'll close out with jen and then uh you know hi so i just took a nap so, uh, <laughs> so we talk horror movies Braden's out we talk football Braden's out man yeah, what do you what, eyes glaze over i don't know what's going what do you guys okay. so what do you what are y'all doing on the weekends man what, so what are y'all doing yeah what are you guys doing on the weekends like you i know you you antiquing wine and cheese <laughs> y'all what do you do what do you do what what do you think i'm like 75 years old oh, I, I just think, yeah, i just don't know how that, that i don't know how the you know people like you live you know what i'm saying i don't man? even like the fact that antiquing is a word <laughs> antique i'm not one for which antiquing is a verb yeah, the um not. All right, so then what is the uh, – shout-out to Frazier, by the way. That's what that's from. But, um, you know, I, uh, you know, we go to Tahoe a lot, hang out by the lake, do water stuff, hike, and, you know, that sort of thing. Oh, man, that sounds awesome, too. So, um, you like down right, So, like so this. this is what I, I want to announce, a sale, not my sale. Okay. Sold on Cito, not my name. Okay. No, not me. Sold a week ago, seven days ago, September 7th. Uh, D's nuts. <laughs> no, did it really? Yeah, D E Z N U T Z dot com. No D-Z-Nuts. way. Nuts. How much did it sell for? Guess. Oh, okay. Wasn't it? Was it? Yeah, seventy five hundred. I think I What'd put it say? on the list on Twitter, and people were loving it. Oh, oh, you dude. said seventy five hundred. What do you what do you say, JT? It's, yeah, man, I'd say what ten G's. Oh, was 10 it twenty five hundred? What was it? Hold on. No, don't stop. Don't look it up. Oh, Jim, I, I tweeted it. I shouldn't know. <laughs> oh, oh, are we still doing this? Oh, okay. Um, I don't know. Five K. I don't. <laughs> Ooh. I'm a- how much of these? Ding ding, for? winner fifty five hundred. <laughs> oh, geez, she can't. Uh, she can't miss. She does today. not miss. Yo, Jen, wow, you really are. I you are holding it down today. This is like, what are what are the lotto numbers? Let me know because I'm gonna play them. You tell me. Jen, nailing every sale. All right, so that's cool. So, Braden, you got anything else to talk about then before we give the mic to Jen here to close out the show? I don't think so. It's all, all about right. Jen. I just want to hear Jen speak now. All right, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a cop, it's a car party. <laughs> She doesn't have that cute accent. She can speak. Cop she, can, she can say everything she needs to say without using a single R. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> um, uh, I don't really have much to share. Same old, same old. I am. We are um, where we live. You can take your um, four wheel drives up the beach. So we're going to go do that on Sunday and okay. just. Um, you basically just drive up the beach and you've got the whole beach to yourself. Like there's just, oh, that's awesome. you look one way, you look the other way. There's nobody. Um, but there are goannas. I don't know if you know what go you know what goannas are like really big lizards. Like, okay. But, yeah, okay. But no. some of them are like two meters long. Like, they're, like they're big. Like I don't know, you know what a meter is, but that's, it sounds that's, that's three and a half feet, <laughs> three and a third, something like that. You know, Seven. like I need, like they'll they'll bite you. Um, they're a bit vicious, so you just have to keep an eye out for the goannas. And they don't have any like shark nets out there, so you kind of just yeah, it's a bit. It's oh, fun. so you're on so you're on your own. Are there lifeguards? No, no. So it's not like that. What's the weather like right now? It's just starting to get like we had our first like real summery day yesterday. It was oh. actually like, and I was like, oh yay, because um, I know we're back to front to you yep. guys. Yep, yep, um, okay. 
So, but yeah, um, I feel like it's, if judging by yesterday, it's going to be a real hot summer. So, but I'm okay. happy about it. I'm Great. comfortable with it. And then what's the water like? Last question. The water, is it like clear blue? You see your feet through the water, like down, or is it like cloudy? Or what's it typically like at the beach? Um, well, it, it also depends on our beach. Yeah, our beach is like, I mean, you can see some of my photos, like my cover photos on Twitter or LinkedIn or whatever. So that's of where I'm from. Okay. Um, so, yeah, it's like that's aqua, Dope. really, yeah, it's lovely. Like very blessed, very lucky where we live here. So that's no awesome. No complaints. Yeah, I ask about the water because where we are, the water is a little bit like cloudy. You really can't see your feet, you know. So you're you're kind of dodging jellyfish and stuff. But interestingly, we did some traveling this summer. We were over in, on the Tampa side, you know, clear water and you know the Gulf and everything. And and the water is beautiful over there. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, and that carries all the way up into you know, sort of Shane's old neck of the woods and like Alabama and like, you know, the redneck Riviera up there, Destin Shores. and all that stuff. Destin, mm-hmm. Destin and Pensacola. Yeah. Fort Walton, you know what I'm saying? It's really, really Fort nice. Fort Walton Beach, and, man. Uh, oh yeah, Fort Walton Beach. Hogs, <laughs> Hogs Breast Saloon, man. <laughs> Let's go. Shane is like becoming Matthew McConaughey, like on this show. Like, you, you want to know it. It's like, he's officially like, he's completely changed into, into yeah. M2. <laughs> um, all mountains, right. V is the mountains. So, all right. Well, this was great, guys. Uh, I think we kind of covered a lot of we covered a lot of ground. Um, <laughs> and uh, I'm going to say, like I say, at every show to the audience, thank you so much for tuning in, y'all. Without you, there's no us. Be sure to check us out. Twitter, all that good stuff. Go to the site, download the list. Let us know what you think. Comments, everything, all that. You know, we appreciate it. I want to say thank you to my guests, y'all, my co-hosts, if you will. Thanks for being here. This was a lot of fun, as always. And uh, with that, we're going to call it. Hey, everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. We're going to go before we get cut off, before we get canceled. I want to say thank you to all y'all. We'll see you next time here on Domain Sherpa, where all roads lead to domains. <laughs>